let's just take a minute here to describe uh, the process by which uh, bone develops from cartilage. This is called endochondral calcification, a process by which mature bone develops from cartilage. The other way bone could develop is not from cartilage, but from directly from within connective tissue, and it's called uh, membranous or intramembranous uh, ossification. But here is endochondral ossification. In endochondral ossification, cartilage turns into bone. And it's a very complex process. It's been studied for years, and it's one of the things that you always learn about, but nobody really uses much in routine life. Nevertheless, we could appreciate up here that we have mature bone. Here are spicules, here are, is marrow, these spaces here are fat, and here's another spicule, and the spicule is lined by uh, osteocytes, I'm sorry, osteoblasts, here's a nice rim along here, and then when they get trapped up within the spicule, they're osteocytes. However, we can see this is an epiphyseal growth plate or a cartilaginous plate uh, between the long shaft of the bone and the end of the bone and the epiphysis. And in this process, you can see that we have a group here of fairly nice, mature looking cartilaginous cells. And they are called reserve cartilage. They look like normal cartilage, but they're rather small. And here now, they're starting to multiply and become bigger. So this is called proliferative cartilage, when they line up to form these little disks and start to proliferate towards another group of cartilaginous looking cells that look very, very large with big lacunae. And this is called the uh, hypertrophy, hypertrophy layer or hypertrophying cells within the lacunae. Very shortly after that, you can see that the cartilage is taking on a darker or more calcified appearance. And this is the zone of calcifying cartilage. Uh, when uh, cartilage uh, calcifies, that is pretty much one of the last steps before it starts to turn into actual bone. Like you see here now, you don't just see this bluish cartilaginous material, you see this denser reddish material very much like the uh, mature spicules we saw on the other side of the epiphyseal growth plate. So just as a quick review, because I always know this is an area of a uh, little bit of a confusion. This whole cartilaginous band here is the epiphysis. Here is normal bone on the up side of it, lined by osteoblasts. Here are osteocytes within the bone. Here is the zone of reserve cartilage. Here is the zone of proliferation cartilage. Here is the zone of hypertrophying cartilage with the large nuclei and the large lacuna. When this lighter blue turns into a darker blue cartilage, it's starting to calcify. And where the calcify uh, cartilage then actually looks once again very red, like the bone you have on the other side of the plate, that is then ossification. You can think of uh, osteoid as being a proteinaceous matrix that hasn't calcified yet. Once it calcifies, in other words, osteoid plus calcium equals bone. I just wanted to bring this up because it's always a, a big subject in all uh, histology uh, exercises. And so I thank you very much.